So right now I'm looking at SPS output for a Pearson's R correlation. There's two examples of it. When you're looking at the output from SPSS for Pearson's R, take a look specifically at the top right box. The top value is the value of Pearson's R, which is 0.325. The next value down is the p-value, if we hold the null hypothesis to be true. Typically, the null hypothesis is that there's no relationship between the two variables in the general population. So if that were the case, it says you could get this situation 0.151 of the time. And then the third number down is the number of pairs of scores. So 21 pairs of scores contributed to this. So we have two different SPS outputs. The one on the left has a Pearson's R value of 0.325, and the one on the right has a Pearson's R value of negative 0.542. And for this activity, you're to click on the SPS output that represents the weakest correlation. So whichever one is closest to zero is the weakest correlation. Sometimes you'll be given the direct Pearson's R, other times you'll be given it as the SPS output and simply go through and work on your ability to quickly pick whichever one is closest to zero. Later on, we'll have some other activities that focus on other aspects of the SPS output. Now you may be wondering about the other boxes on the SPS output, and you can ignore uh, all those other boxes. Uh, for example, this box at the top left says that the variable x is perfectly correlated with itself, and that's not particularly interesting. The box in the bottom right says that the variable y is perfectly correlated with itself. Again, not particularly interested. And finally, the box at the bottom left is just the mirror image of the box at the top right. So of all these four boxes in the SPS output, you only pay attention to that top right box to take a look at the Pearson's R, the p-value, and the number of pairs of scores there. Uh, once you're done, and it'll be about uh, 30 decisions that you're making, then we'll see uh, how you did. And you can also see how long it took you on average to make each of your decisions.